Good day, friends. It is a Tankercad Tuesday, and you know that means it's time to showcase another designer. So, my friends, let's get cracking. Friends, if you're looking behind me, you'll notice I've got a couple of Facebook windows. The first one has Tinkering with Tinkercad, and this is a wonderful place to see the works of awesome designers like the one that I'm going to show you today. The other one, friends, is the Tinkercad Worldwide User Group. Both of these have tons of talented members and there are people that bounce between them. But if you want to learn about designers that I'm not showing off, this is where you can get a head start on it. All right, so here is our special design for the day. I'm going to paste the share link and let's watch this critter render. Alrighty friends, so what we are looking at here is Volvagia the Lava Dragon. And this was created by Dragon Girl using Tinkercad. Now this amazing design is built with a couple of simple techniques and some expert skill and then adjustments as the project was going on. Volvagia the Lava Dragon was created by Dragon Girl. And this amazing creature, if you select it, shows 270 shapes. But it is really built with almost 2,000 shapes. Dragon Girl took the time to disassemble it and was able to give me those facts today. The design is totally made of simple shapes. The technique that Dragon Girl used to make this is awesome. It is generally made of spheres. They were squished, adjusted, nudged, and then rotated as they moved to create the entire design. She included a few asteroids and a few other things up here in the main, and then also using a few cube holes to cut them out. Now what this does is it makes the project a little bit more simple for Tinkercad to render. So if you watched the other, so if you've seen some of the other designer shout outs, some of theirs took longer to do that little rendering clip where I show it bringing in. And because Dragon Girl was using these simpler shapes as she designed her complex creation, it loads a little bit faster, which is pretty darn impressive. So let's real quickly take a look at how one of these amazing pieces gets created. So right here we've got this arm and claw. If we ungroup it once, you can see there is a piece on this edge that cuts it just a tiny bit. I'm going to select the brown arm again, and let's ungroup it. And you can see there are little pieces that get cut out here, as it also makes the other pieces. I'm going to ungroup it again, and all of a sudden, you start to see where these pieces all come together to make this awesome shape. That was just a simple sphere stretched out and then cut off, and boom, you've got that sweet elbow joint. So that's where if you start to see these designs and bring them together, they become totally awesome. Friends, this dragon's got a soft spot in my heart too because it is similar to my spring bug. It uses the duplicate and nudge. She does a lot more with the awesome twist, but this is the idea for you to start to learn how to make awesome creations with little pieces that come together. So believe it or not, this simple little technique that I gave you in this bug that takes 15 minutes is similar to what it takes to make something awesome like that. Just a lot more persistence and then your creative eye to see how you're gonna put all those sweet pieces together. You can find more designs by Dragon Girl by checking out her Tinkercad profile. I will put a link to it in the description and when you do find the designs, like right here you can see Volvagia the Lava Dragon, you're not allowed to download it, you're allowed to just check it out, but you can give it a like. And whenever somebody has made one of these, it's really awesome to give them some credit for all the work they did. Another fun thing you can do is hit the view in 3D and after you wait for it to load, you'll be able to zoom in and check them out in every angle using almost the same technique as me when I was creating this video. Dragon Girl has a boatload of details and a boatload of designs for you to check out. So many amazingly cool things that you can click in, explore in 3D, and then also give her the props for making such awesome things.
Just another quick reminder, friends, Facebook, Tinkering with Tinkercad, and Tinkercad Worldwide User Group are both fantastic places to learn about new designs and meet other creators. Lastly, friends, that Tinkercad subreddit is another awesome resource for getting your designs out and also meeting other designers. Finally, friends, if you make something awesome, even if you're just a beginner and you want to share it with me, don't forget you can simply hit the send to and go down to invite people and you can generate a link that you can copy and email to me or you can send it to me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. I am on HL Mod Tech for all of them and if you create something awesome and want to be part of this shout out experience, maybe your design will be good enough and you will be next on the Tuesday Tankercad shout out. Thanks again, Dragon Girl, for taking time to share the details of this awesome design with us. And friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.